What the hell? Oh my gosh. What the f is this? What is happening? Jesus. The battery must be getting low. I need to ride this thing more often. Don't worry. It's about to be summertime. We're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of time together. Me, you, two wheels, the open air, alone, having some romantic <laughs> Riding. <laughs> you get it. We're gonna have some fun. That's what she said. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Starting today's video out on two wheels. I know all my two wheel brethren out there will appreciate this. Today's video is not about this, though. We are on our way to the store to pick up some essentials. Yes, social distancing still in effect. Today's video is gonna be all about ethanol. Uh, we're gonna be testing our E85. I'm gonna explain why, arguably, is the most important thing, especially when you're on E85 and your Mustang. Uh, really, probably any car that's set up for uh, E85 specific tunes, but with the virus going around, and I haven't been on this bike in forever. I love two wheels. cars come on cars I want to go fast <laughs> all right we got to back up we got to keep our social distance <laughs> from other vehicles too no I'm totally kidding but on that note guys I really do hope that everybody out there is staying safe during these uh, uncertain times just keep your social distance be safe don't get sick don't spread it to your loved ones and uh, because, you know, we want to keep everybody healthy. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. You can't not get on one of these things and, like, go slow. You just can't do it. People do not believe in turn signals. I mean, I still tried to do it, even on two wheels. So my wifey shared something with me that she saw on, I'll link it, I'll link the picture, but she saw something on Facebook that was a bit of a concern. I don't know if concern is the right word, but I guess it could be. Essentially what she found was somebody's post. I don't know if there's any truth to it. I gotta do a little bit more research, but I mean, I could see how it could make sense and how it could be true, is that some of the E85 plants that make our E85 our ethanol that goes into our cars, uh, trucks, whatever vehicles that you have, especially when you're tuned for E85, it needs to be specific around that ethanol content. Unless you're on a flex fuel tune from like, let's say Lund, for example, but on an E85 dedicated tune in your vehicle, you need to be around that E85 content. Very vital that everybody is testing their ethanol content per fill up. I understand that you know, that may not always be the case, but very, very important. So that's what we're going to do today. I've been stockpiling. I've been kind of hoarding, I guess, a little bit of E85 in my garage because with all the crazy stuff going on, um, it's just it, it is what it is, and we got to do what we got to do. Is that necessary? I don't know, but it is a troubling time right now. But it leads us into this post. It was on Facebook that she found. I'm still dissecting it to see if there's any, you know, if it's true. But, like I was saying, I think it could make sense that, uh, you know, some of these E85 producing plants, these ethanol producing plants for fuels, are possibly uh, diluting the ethanol content like a pump gas station, right? So, in a sense, more like a winter blend. And what they're doing is they're taking that, that whatever they're saving and they're applying it towards uh, producing hand sanitizers, you know, to keep people healthy and safe and stuff like that. But now, that's good. It's good to keep people healthy, but how does that affect uh, what we're putting in a car? Well, like I was talking about, you need to have an E85, uh, as close to E85, your, what am I trying to say? Content that you're putting in your gas tank needs to be as close to E85 as possible. Generally above E70, you're pretty much good, but you got to be careful because if you test and it's like E50, E60, then you could probably still drive on it. Let me know in the comments, but the thing is though, you don't want to be like hammering on it. 
if you're not if you're not really if you're not testing high enough if that makes sense we're gonna go pick up something here from the store to finish out the rest of the video we're gonna get off of the motorcycle so you guys can see my lovely pretty face and uh, pick this video up test our e85 make sure it's good and uh, show you how to do that how to actually test correctly you might want to be thinking about if you have the ability to maybe start stockpiling at least a little bit of it now my Mustang my twin turbo Mustang is not a daily driver it kind of is with the fuel system only get to like 12 miles per gallon in the city I know first world problems and everything but the point being is what I'm getting out of the pumps now is only going to be E70 E60 E50 even then we need to stockpile as much E85 as we can while it's still E85 if that makes sense all the social distancing in effect and look at this we're at Lowe's look how busy it is why are we at Lowe's I don't even need to be at Lowe's I meant to go to Walmart yeah you would think with the virus going on I mean look everybody in my my city my little town seems to be here what in the world is going on I've never seen it this busy at Lowe's but yeah, we got to go to Walmart. I imagine Walmart's going to be the same way. Absolutely crazy. Hello, EcoBoost. guys we're back at the garage all right what we want to talk about what we want to do is e85 test kits so you can pick one of these up on like amazon ebay or whatever amazon you can get them in a couple of days usually and they're about 10 15 bucks something like that very essential if you are running e85 in your car religiously kind of like we are your e85 if you have an e85 specific tune not like a flex fuel where it kind of reads the alcohol content inside uh, of the gas tank with the regular pump gas so you can go back and forth essentially the difference between the two is that an e85 tune is going to give you all the timing all the goodies down low locked in a flex fuel tune is kind of like the the blend a transition tune that some of these tuners uh allow your cars your mustang specifically that's what we're talking about since we have my twin turbo 19 mustang if you guys didn't know that if you're new to the channel by the way if you're new uh consider subscribing uh, we'd like to go fast to this channel uh 2018 cbr 1000 double r that we like to have fun on and then we have our mustang here so just in case you guys are new this is pretty much our drag build if you've never seen this car before pretty much all done up so hell horse twin turbos uh, that live underneath the car like a sleeper kit we got a big stall converter suspension is pretty much all dialed in everything has been upgraded heavy heavy build guys but you guys are all familiar with the bike so so like i was saying the uh let me turn some lights on just make sure having some good visibility so flex fuel tune does not necessarily give you the full benefits of an E85 specific tune. So my car runs on E85 or 93, but there's two different tunes. So I got to swap back and forth. Now, the thing is, if you put something in there that's like, let's say, especially beneath E70, you run the risk, especially if you go wide up a throttle, and start playing around, start hooning around in your car, you run the risk of damage, detonation, uh, engine failures, things going bad. You want to be safe about it. That's the glory of one of these things. So there's a simple way to do it. Now to test this, you need some water, you need one of these guys, and of course you need your E85. I've been stockpiling a little bit of it. I got about 20, 22 gallons here, something like that. Uh, it's not definitely going to get us through the next six months, but you know, for the next couple of weeks, it sure might. So this jug right here, our little five gallon here, is the last. We just filled this up yesterday. So this is the uh, the newest of the E85 that I've got. Generally, I know this is gonna sound funny, generally you can kind of give it a, a sniff. You give it the old sniff test and you can tell if it's you know decently good or not. I've got our test kit, went to Walmart, we got one of these. 
just a little syringe. I'd uh, like something bigger, but this is all they've got with the uh, the pandemic and all that. These things are uh, kind of tough to find, just like face masks and everything else. But what we're gonna do, if you guys don't know how to test your E85, or you can do this right at the, uh, the fill station too. Just carry around one of these, a syringe, and maybe like a little 20 ounce of water or whatever. But we're gonna fill the water line up to right there. Be as specific with this as you can. If you need to dump water out, if you get too much, no problem. A little more. So we're a little over. And we're right there at the line. And what we're gonna do is start filling this thing up. This is gonna take me a little while with this little bitty thing, but we wanna fill all the way up to the E85 gas fill line right at the top. And then we're gonna give it a shake, wait a couple of minutes, and it's gonna settle down. And then it's gonna tell us specifically what our ethanol content is. Like I said, very, very vital that you guys are doing this. Some guys, especially on YouTube, have blown up engines with bad E85. Just like everything else in the world these days, you wanna be safe. I'm getting close, we're about there. Now don't reuse this because you've mixed it with water. You just put this away, keep it in your car. I definitely, definitely, definitely suggest keeping all of this in your car, especially when you're filling up all of the time on ethanol. But now what we're gonna do is just give it a little bitty shake. You see it's starting to mix up and get cloudy. So just give it a couple of turns, right? And then we're gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then you're gonna see it start to separate. Essentially it's going to, you're gonna see a line of separation. Wherever that lands, it's gonna tell you what amount of E85, what amount of ethanol content is actually in that fuel. Now this is only been sitting a couple of minutes, but I think it's gonna be about where it is. If you can see, right about there, look here, there is a definitive line that you can pick up. So right now we're testing about, uh, that's about E81. So a little bit beneath E85. That's the newest batch. So what I wanna do is continue to test the rest of this that I have. Uh, I did fill up the gas tank with this and it read about the same, but very important that you do that per fill up because most of the time you're good. The place that I always go to always reads about, always reads about E80 to E85, sometimes even E90. You know, this is something that was brought to my attention yesterday. Bar tuning there, he's like a Mopar tuner, I believe. But the thing is that he tested something significantly lower than E85. <laughs> Your tuner know what's going on. Now, why is this? Well, the theory is that the government's ask, or maybe even these different plants have actually volunteered to start producing some hand sanitizers. Now, hand sanitizer has alcohol in it. Uh, that's pretty much what E85 kind of is. I know it's a little bit different, but uh, to my understanding, they can structure it to be put into hand sanitizer, some of the alcohol that they do produce, um, which is what the country and the world actually needs right now. So uh, just be careful. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Hopefully you made it this far in the video that um, you need to be testing 85 now more so than ever. Now, one more time, just finish up the video. I do want to emphasize whatever you're testing, maybe let your tuner know. Maybe they can tweak something in the tune just to keep you safe. Let your tuner know so that way they can dial in your tune so that's my rambling fit uh talking head video at this point hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you found it informative let me know in the comments what you think about this whole thing yes we need hand sanitizers we need to keep people healthy from this pandemic that's going around um, but we also need to make sure that our cars don't blow up either so so we have a simple solution simply test your e85 again if you're new to the channel if you found this video helpful please share it pass it along let everybody else know i don't want anybody out there blowing up engines because they're running you know e50 in their gas tank thinking it's e85 now again if you're on a flex fuel tune it's a little bit different this is e85 specific dedicated tunes that's it that's the video we're done thanks for watching have a great day Thank mm -hmm. you.